Hello, my name is Robert Dean Steele, and today I just want to thank the Lord for every single day that we have. You know, it was David who said, This is the day which the Lord hath made. I will rejoice and be glad. You know, every single day we should be thanking the Lord, asking Him to forgive us, allow, asking Him to help us and teach us and to guide us, to use us and to bless us. These are simple things that we should be asking the Lord every single day. Now, the wonderful way, of course, that is all done is communicated through prayer, which we are doing right now. So, Lord, thank you today for this day. And thank you, Lord, for the opportunities and as well, Lord, the challenges, sometimes the problems, sometimes the scenarios that we find ourselves in. We know that, Lord, each day has an ebb and flow to it, a fluidity. We can make all the plans in which we would desire to do, but then something happens and everything changes. It could be a home maintenance product. All of a sudden, you find something that breaks in your house and you have to take care of it instantaneously. Or, or maybe you're driving down the road and then something happens to your automobile and then all of a sudden, you've got to fix it. Or maybe you get an email or a letter that uh, all of a sudden tells you that you have a emergency bill to take care of. Maybe it's someone that you meet and you have an opportunity to be able, Lord, to minister God's love. Whatever the scenario is, maybe you're in the grocery store and you see an old friend and the conversation turns to reminiscing and sentimentality. Whatever it is, Lord, we need to recognize that the steps of a good person are ordered by the Lord. That means that, Lord, we need to be ready in a moment of time to share the wonderful news and the wonderful things that have happened to us. Lord, I, I can't tell you how many times I'm at a particular place and then all of a sudden an opportunity comes to share about the good news of Jesus Christ, to tell people what God has done. And that's the beautiful thing, Lord. We need to share in season and out of season. In season simply means we are ready to go. We recognize the divine appointment that we have in front of us and we jump on it and we are sharing with, with great zeal and enthusiasm and all eight cylinders are firing and we're giving that word fitly spoken like apples of gold and pitchers of silver. And other times, we're out of season. We're not ready. But in that moment, we can just simply pray and say, Okay, Lord, I need to be able to handle this situation. And I know that you're going to enable me to do that. Because God has outfitted us with a wonderful thing called the brain. And uh, when it's fully functioning, it can do remarkable things, react to things remarkably. It's absolutely amazing. Lord, I think of reflexes as well. How that reflexes can be instantaneous and they can keep us, Lord, from, you know, bad situations. I, I remember last summer when I was riding my motorcycle down the uh Highway 1 towards Banff, Alberta. And I was scooting along and then all of a sudden uh, I was traveling in the fast lane and this lady did not even see me. And instantly she came into my lane. Well, I slowed down and was able to go onto the shoulder and then she saw me after I had honked my horn. Lord, it could have been a very, very tragic situation. I may not have been here to do what we are doing today. So, Father, thank you. Thank you for that very uh, blessing that, Lord, you go before us. And this is a neat little thing to think about, that even before we find ourselves in a situation, 
you have already been there. That is just such a fantastic thing to know. Nothing surprises you. Now, the beautiful thing, of course, Lord, is that you op always operate from the eternal future. You see us not as we are right now, but as we can become. A perfect example of that is Gideon. Gideon was called a mighty man of valor, even before he had done one single act of valor, one single act of courage. You saw what he was going to become, not what he was at that time. A perfect example was Jesus Christ when he chose his young men to follow him. He knew what the apostle Peter was going to become. He knew what John was going to become, what Thomas was going to become. These incredible young men, what they would do. He knew that when he, when Paul was on the road to Damascus, that Paul was going to become a great orator. But more importantly, Paul was going to be the author of half the New Testament. See, God sees us as we are. Uh, as we shall become, not as we are. So the reality of the situation is, Lord, we need to do what Jesus said in John 15, 7. He says, if you abide in me and my words abide in you. He says, you can ask what you desire, what you will, and it will be given to you. Now, Lord, that's a great promise in itself, but it does talk about connection. And Lord, help us today to stay connected to everything that you are doing in our life situation. And Lord, I don't want to be macabre and I don't want to be, you know, um, kind of boring or I might, should say, you know, uh, making people afraid. But Lord, help us today to recognize this is the only day that we have. You could come back today or we could go to eternity through the portal of death. Either way, Lord, help us to live and help us, Lord, to be aware of the importance of this day. Not to waste it, but to do as Paul says in Ephesians, redeem the time. Lord, let's maximize every moment of this day and just be ready to give that hope that lies within us. Lord, whether it is through uh, an activity, an action, a word, either way, Lord, help us to be ready and to live ready. And I'm asking all of these things now in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, of course, I always encourage you to press the like button and subscribe to my YouTube channel. God bless you. My name is Robert Steele.